Hey everyone, welcome back. We're two weeks into the new Path of Exile League and it has been an amazing time. I'm having lots of fun and I just wanted to go over the way I'm using the boats to make some extra divines on top of my farming. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is max out your farming. This is very important. Getting as high level wage workers as you can. I have all nines on a few of them. I think my lowest workers are sevens or no, I have two sixes left to replace. Um, so getting all your workers as high level as possible so they're producing as many crops as they can, very key. We learned very early on into the league, thanks to Ziggy D, Damn, this that baggage. crops equal currency when you send them to ports and ores and bars will return weapons and other things. So I knew very early on I wanted to focus currency, try and make some divines like they showed in the teasers. So I have up, upped the scaling of what I'm doing, but the premise is still the same. So what, what I do was doing originally with two ships, because I upgraded my ships to two right away and then I just started doing it with three, is I would come over to shipment, I would hit Ribbonfell, it is the shortest port, but also it gives you the runes. So this is guaranteeing you're getting back usually about five to six runes per shipment. Um, and they can be some of the rare ones, so it does work out nicely. I do have a good amount of runes. So you hit that. And then what I was doing is just sliding up whatever works for you. You just slide up the thing a little and then increase the dust as much as you can to a maximum of 10,000. 8,000 is really all you need. If you can go 8K, now these sailors are a little bit higher level. So if you can go 8K and you can put about this much in, like ignore the numbers. This is just the graph. Let's pretend you only had a thousand of each crop, right? I was just putting a little bit in and then trying to add some dust because it is a multiplier and then I would ship those out. And that's what I was doing consistently and that would make me about one divine every nine to 12 ships. I'd say. Or no, I was only doing two boats at a time. I would say every, honestly, every six to eight ships, I was probably getting a, a divine. Um, my strategy now is a lot simpler. We're simply just doing, now that I have the production to keep up with supply, I'm doing a thousand of each crop. So we're going to do a thousand here and then 10,000 of the dust. So I like to go through to each one, 1,000. So once you've got all your crops set up, you can go ahead and set sail. I'll give him the word. And this will ensure no, that all no, your boats come back the at the same time. It's a good time to go run, do some maps, do whatever you need to do, and then you can come back and hopefully there'll be a divine on there for you. I have had really good need? luck with the 1,000 and 10,000. I've had boats with two divines on them. I've had all three boats have a divine on it once. Um, I'm usually making, with this method, a divine every 6 to 12 boats. So between every... Let's say this is just one shipment. Let's call all three boats one shipment. Usually between, you know, one and four shipments. Or two and four shipments. So sometimes I'll send out a boat, won't get something. And then I send out another three boats and I got a divine. And it alternates like that. And sometimes, yeah, it does take about 12, you know, three, four sets of three ships in order to get there. Hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of luck like I've had making some extra divines this league using the boats. And hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Let me know down below what your favorite part of the league is and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>